Hello everyone. Um, so last month I attended the uh, rapid software testing course with Michael Bolton, um, a, quite a famous um, guy within the testing community, not to be confused with the um, singer Michael Bolton. Um, so one of the um, useful or interesting things that I've learned from the course is uh, the heuristic um, test strategy model. I'm not sure if everyone oh, has heard of that. But um, basically, it's a comprehensive set of uh, lists that helps the tester to um, think through their test strategy and organize their thoughts around the elements um, for their test. So uh, the intention is basically that if you adopt this uh, model, then you should be able to gener generate lots of ideas um, to, yeah, and you should be able to test almost everything or anything. So the model can be represented by this diagram um, at the top level. And each of these nodes actually consists of uh, sublists. And um, I guess like most of these are kind of self-explanatory. Um, but one thing I'd like to mention is um, oracles. So what is an oracle? An oracle is perhaps a mechanism by which testers can kind of tell whether there is a problem. So a very common pattern is um, the consistent heuristics, which, for example, you look, you compare the product with other comparable products, or you compare the product with its own um, in the past. Um, and then I'm going to move on to product elements, which I think is really important, like if you are going to work with a product, if you can actually work out the, um, the product coverage map of your software, then it will help you to generate lots of testing ideas. So um, testers like um, mnemonics, basically. So they have come up with this uh, San Francisco Depot um, for things you look up for when you look at product elements. Um, these are structure, function, data, interfaces, platform, operations, and time. Um, so <clears throat> basically, the idea is that products have many dimensions. If you just tend to focus on one dimension or one element, then you are likely to miss out on the um, important bugs. So um, ideally, you should try to pick the most important um, elements of each category. And I'm going to go through each of this um, like by means of diagram. So if you look, if you imagine your software being the, um, the central bit with interactions, um, so you have got the platform down there, you have got your input, output, and in the middle it's the uh, structure and the function. So let's look at the structural coverage. So what is that about? is basically to test what it's made of. So everything that comprises um, the product uh, includes um, the, your code and executables. Um, However, that, that is integral of your um, product and other non-executable files. So if I take printing program as an example, you'll be testing files associated with printing or codes that implement um, the printing. Am I? OK. Two more minutes? OK. So um, for functional coverage, basically you test what it does. So you actually want to test that you, you can print like according to your expectation, or like if you s select the print range, then the, um, the output should be okay. Um, next, data. So this one is about everything that the product processes. So we are looking at input and output. And then next one, interface coverage. Um, that includes uh, user interface like menus or dialogues and any a API that other uh, programs can rely on the product. Um, and then platform, talking about operation systems, for operating systems and drivers and you know, other external environment that the software relies on. Next one, 
operational coverage. So basically, this is how the users are going to use your program. Um, so you can have a really um, normal scenario or really complex workflow um, to think about when you generate your test cases. And then time coverage, basically anything to do with time. It can be speed or you try to manipulate, um, like for example, try to print from two machines at the same time. So anything that has got the time aspect to it can be included in this category. So the key takeaway for this is you do not necessarily have to follow um, what's in the model, but you should be able to try to think about a model that suits your product. Especially now we are you know, having this reorg and everyone is going to move from one team, well, almost everyone uh, is going to kind of face uh, new products or maybe products that they are not familiar with. So um, I think that would perhaps like uh, give us a, a better way of testing our product. And finally, I'm going to show you um, a full diagram of the heuristic model. So um, we were encouraged to use um, some form of mind map my mapping software to generate this. So if you have this, like your master model, then you can just adopt it to any software that you work with. Um, so yeah, this is the comprehensive list of uh, each of the elements uh, in the model. Um, yeah. And if you fancy um, any material from the course, then please uh, feel free to speak to me. Thanks. Question? Um, where can we get uh, all this model diagrams are available somewhere for everyone? So yeah, well, so basically, um, this is actually avail available online as well because um, Michael Bolton and uh, his partner uh, James Buck actually publishes this online, so we can actually find them really easily. But post the link on the other thread or to the yeah, others. I'll do that. Any more? <laughs>